Welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're looking at a few more heresies and heretical views denounced by the Church, and this time, Marcionism. In 140 AD, a man named Marcion of Sinope arrived in Rome. There aren't a lot of sources of historical information about this man, so it's hard to say much about him that's definite, but he was probably rich, probably a ship owner, and probably the son of the Bishop of Sinope. He started to teach his own views on God and Jesus. Marcion's views on God were that the God of the Old and New Testaments were different beings, with the Old Testament God being wrathful, inconsistent, jealous, and yet committed to justice in a harsh, unmerciful sense, and responsible for creating a flawed material world. Jesus, in his view, was a spiritual being who came from the monad, the supreme being on his view, to reveal the truth about existence, thus allowing people, through this knowledge, to escape this flawed earth and stop... Sounding familiar? This is essentially Gnosticism again, the distinction between good and evil gods, the assertion that the physical world is inherently bad, blaming the flaws of earth on a god instead of on sin, and the focus on escaping from physical existence through knowledge, it's all the same thing. The only difference is that Marcion is more thorough in his attempts to ground his Gnostic beliefs in the words of the Bible. But he didn't really do anything original here. It's not hard to see why Marcion was excommunicated in 144 AD and his heretical views denounced as the Gnosticism they are. Let me give just a couple of examples of Bible passages that Marcion's view clearly ignores without actually challenging. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Deuteronomy 6, 4 I and the Father are one. John 10, 30 spoken by Jesus. I beseech thee, saith he, be not angry, Lord, if I speak yet once more. What if ten should be found there? And he said, I will not destroy it for the sake of ten. Genesis 18.32 These are clear passages in the Bible saying directly that there is only one God, that Jesus is one with that God, and that that God has actually been quite merciful even in Old Testament times, willing to spare an entire city full of wickedness for the sake of ten good men. All of this flies in the face of Marcion's teachings, so it's no surprise that his views are heretical ones. They just don't take into account all of the information we have in the Bible, despite Marcion's belief that his views were Bible-based. Next time, what was docetism? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.